sweet. Hey everybody, awesome at G here, and today we're going to be playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, obviously. Um, this is a game I used to own back on the SNES, when I had an SNES, and uh, it is a blast to play. It's more fun two-player. The only problem is um, I can't figure out how to get... Um, an emulating software to do like hold on I'm just gonna do this again I can't figure out how to get an emulating software to actually allow uh, like net play because uh, I know a couple of people that would love to play this game with me and it's just a matter of uh, figuring out how to get it to work online uh, so if any of y'all know how to get that to work let me know um, I'm just going to let this play for a minute. Also, the uh, the reason Minecraft videos haven't come out lately is I wanted to get started on like an adventure map style thing going on here. And uh, kind of trying to figure out how I want to progress with that. Um, so sorry for the delay on that. Hopefully I'll have something for you guys next week. Um, and we'll go from there. But uh, in the meantime, let's get started. I was never super great at this game single player. And I always play Donatello. Sometimes I'll play Leonardo, but... Man, they have an awesome TV. You can hear them and everything. I don't know what it is about Donatello. I guess it's probably a combination of the fact that he was the nerdy guy, and uh, he wears purple. And I'm a nerd, and I like purple. So, I guess that kind of goes together. So this is also heavily, since, since when it came out, this is heavily influenced by the 90s cartoon as opposed to the modern cartoon. I actually haven't watched the modern one. Although I saw some gameplay from some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game that's in development that's kind of like a brawler style game. And uh, they actually did a pretty good job in the fighting. Oop, that was dumb. So, I don't know, I might keep my eyes on that and see how good that is. Pick this up now, because the, the screen progresses, and if you don't get stuff, you can't go back. So if I hadn't gotten the pizza right then, I couldn't have gotten it. I'm going to see how far I can get. Uh, I, I think I'll just play one set of lives as opposed to like using multiple continues just in case somebody in the comments is like hey I know how to get uh, uh, emulators like SNES 9X or ZSNES to uh, to work for online play across the internet or, or two player play across the internet and uh, then I may save the rest of the game for when I can get together with somebody else to, uh, to play this game co-op and actually beat it that way Come on, stand right there. That's all right. There you go. You stupid guys. Nobody ever said foot soldiers were actually smart, right? I remember Northern Lion asking a while back. I don't remember what he was doing, but he had asked, like, some kind of... I can't reach him up there. What the hell? Some kind of quiz, and he was like, what's the first enemy in... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, first boss, I mean. I don't know who won that, but I definitely knew what the answer was. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Come on, come back over here. A lot of these guys have, like, totally repeatable patterns that you can catch on to. I should get the pizza. Come on. I 
can't get him over there. Never quite understood what caused the explosion that knocked these enemies away. But when I was like eight, I didn't care. I was just like, sweet, he blew up. No. Take that. Ow. Stop it. The big challenge with playing co-op is always getting to a pizza section and saying like, oh god, who needs the pizza the worst? These are some of my least favorite enemies. Ah! I was trying to jump and I ended up doing that roll. Those guys can totally tear you up single player. You know, you get like five or six of them, which I think you actually get later on in the game at one point. And uh, they will totally tear you up. They'll start getting you in that weird catch between where one of them will shoot their electric rope thing and then the other one will shoot his right after you're released. Everybody's been juggled like that in a fighting game like this before. Ah. I was hoping he was going for his rope. I hate that jump move. Slows you down too much sometimes. Ah! Pizza! Okay. Too bad pizza doesn't work like that in real life. Need a pizza. Oh my god, all my wounds are healed! Metalhead. I remember collecting some of these uh, characters as like little toys. Oh. Sorry, I broke his, his groove there. Alright. Sweet. But yeah, I had like some of the transforming toys where you could like flip their heads in on themselves and turn them into just their shells, and it's pretty sweet. I don't know. They're kind of lame compared to today's toys, but still. At the time, I was like, oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever! Oh, missed that guy. Oh yeah, these guys... The blue guys are almost... I just let them go by. They're really hard to hit sometimes. Ow. Ha, huh, you're stupid. Ah, I hate this. I was never good at that section when I was a kid. Ooh! Sorry.
Kill them. Oh, I hate this boss too. I always take like some serious damage with this boss. Usually I'll end up losing a life. Hopefully I can actually make it through without dying once. Ah. The hard part is, is the damage point on his vehicle is like right in front of his weapons. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a life here. That's alright. I wish there wasn't that moment of invincibility that they get. Really? I thought I had him there. No! Damn you and your rockets! I was one hit off. Seriously? supposed to hit both of those guys. Oh well. Man, y'all remember when the first, for those of you who are old enough, when the first Ninja Turtles movie, was it the first one or the second one? I think it was the second one. Came out, and uh, everybody was like, oh! And then, like, you got to that one fight scene where they were fighting Toka and Razar, and Vanilla Ice came out, and everybody was like, oh yeah, that's awesome! Vanilla Ice is like the coolest musician ever! Yeah, I feel bad about that, too. <laughs> ah. I always wondered what these guys were trying to do attacking me with tuning forks. Wow, I died. Lame. Stop it, Mouser! Here's a question. I... I thought Baxter Stockman was the result, or, or the cause of the Mousers. Is that correct? I always forget. I thought that is correct, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Like, I want to say that was one of his experiments before he turned himself into the fly creature. one hit him. Oh! That was a bad move. I don't even know if I'll be able to make it to Shredder like this. I am doing terribly. Boo! No, I think I'll make it to Shredder. to get that in every time. Oh! I might actually do it. Oh! You gotta be kidding me. Almost had it. 
Too bad that one doesn't make noise. playing this with my brother and then like we would always be like all right you're on the left and you're on the right and then halfway through the fight we'd switch for just no apparent reason we would just start fighting each other's enemies like get over back on your side is this the mousers yes oh i picked up the pizza and i didn't want to that's okay I actually made it through that one without taking much damage. Normally those guys with the nunchucks totally own me. Sweet! I never figured out how to get that slamming back and forth. I know how to throw them at the screen. I don't think I can beat him. Not with one life. No! Stop it. I don't want you guys to fall down. I just want you to, like, lean over. Ow. Yeah, it's totally not gonna work. Stop it! Anyway, so that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Once again, if you know how to get the, uh, like, two-player co-op to work over the internet using, uh, like, SNES 9X or something, let me know in the comments below, because I'd like to be able to get together with somebody and do, like, the whole game co-op. I think that would be really fun. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.